Poisson distribution. So here in Poisson distribution, this is also a discrete distribution. This is the special case in binomial distribution. A Poisson distribution is a special case in binomial distribution where in binomial distribution, in binomial, if you see n is large and PQR very small, then binomial tends to poison. Binomial tends to Poisson distribution. This is a limiting case of binomial distribution simply. N is large. P and Q are very small. N is large, P, Q are small. Then, that binomial distribution only tends to Poisson. The Poisson distribution derived from binomial by taking N large, N infinity, P, Q are small. As n tends to infinity, whenever p, q are very small, in binomial distribution finding probabilities is a little tough and it, it may not give accurate uh, probabilities. In that cases, we go for Poisson. So by reading the problem itself, you can easily understand the problem is in Poisson. How? For example, if you take a problem like this, 2% of the items in a factory are found to be defective. Find the probability of two defective, zero defective, at least three defective in a box of 100 items. In a factory, he had given 2% of items. That means small p is 0 0.02, very small. But what is n? 100, large number. To find probability of two, what happens? 100 c2, 0 0.02 whole power uh, 2. 1 minus 0 0.02, if you take 0 0.08 whole power 98. If you type in CALC, you may get some value which is closer to 0. So you cannot get exact values in that cases. There, you need to think about poison. When you feel n is large, poison. When you feel n is finite, like n is 5, n is 10, up to n 18 also, we can go for binomial. When it crosses uh, 20 like that, you can prefer Poisson distribution to find probabilities. So Poisson distribution is a special case in binomial distribution. It is derived from binomial distribution. In a special case where n is large, p, q are small, then using the mean formula it is derived mean mu. By taking uh, mean mu np as lambda by taking mean np value as lambda when n large bq small the probability function of poisson distribution is given by probability of x in poisson by taking mean of binomial distribution np as lambda it has a formula e power minus lambda into lambda power x by x factorial. This is the probability function, the formula to calculate any probability in Poisson distribution. This is the formula derived from binomial distribution. Derived from binomial distribution by taking x 0, 1, 2, 3, 1 can easily evaluate probabilities of uh, probabilities in Poisson distribution. So this is derived uh, by using binomial distribution uh, probability function formula P of x. In binomial P of x is ncx p power x q power n minus x. In this by taking n large p q small this formula was derived. This is uh, helpful to find any probability in Poisson distribution. So that is P of x here, e power minus lambda into lambda power x by x factor here. Here you need to keep this point in your mind. N large, P q small. Binomial tends to poison. 
any doubts you may express. Mean and variance of Poisson distribution. So, for Poisson distribution, we are uh, going to calculate what is its mean and what is its variance. Already while introducing Poisson distribution itself, we assumed that the mean of binomial distribution mu NP is assumed as lambda. So that means we know the mean of binomial distribution is lambda. We are going to prove, we are going to derive how mean of Poisson distribution is lambda. For that, we need to know what is probability function. In binomial distribution, in binomial, sorry, this is Poisson, right? In Poisson distribution, probability of R we know in Poisson, probability of x is e power minus lambda into lambda power x by x factorial per x equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. So on infinity. If it is probability of R, we will take in the place of x R. So now, mean is a standard formula in discrete case mean mu equal to sigma r into p of r in terms of r r equal to 0 to infinity because pi is on n large n infinity now probability of r we know probability of x i written here in this right in the place of x r summation r equal to 0 to infinity r into e power minus lambda into lambda power r by r factorial. We all know that n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 factorial. Using this formula, we are going to write r factorial like this. Sigma r equal to 0 to infinity r into e power minus lambda into lambda power r by r minus 1 factorial. So r r get cancelled. e power minus lambda is constant because we don't have any r terms in e power minus lambda. So take e power minus lambda constant. Summation r equal to 0 to infinity lambda power r by r minus 1 factorial we are having. Now write in the place of r 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so on infinity. If you write in the place of r 0, lambda power 0, 1. 0 factorial also 1, 1 minus 1, 0, 0 factorial 1, 1 factorial 1. So write in the place of lambda r 1. If you write 0, you will get negative factorial. Negative factorial does not exist. That's why here r runs from 1 to infinity, here also. From 1 we need to start, from 0 we need to start. If you take 0, 0 minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 factorial does not exist. That's why from here, here r equal to 0 to infinity only. From here r equal to 1 to infinity. So if you write in the place of r1 lambda power 1 by 1 minus 1, 0. If you write in the place of lambda r, in the place of r2, lambda square by 2 minus 1, 1 factorial. If you write in the place of r3, lambda cube by 3 minus 1, 2 factorial. So on infinity. So here also, if you write in the place of R1, in the first step you will have lambda. If you write in the place of R1, lambda power 1 by 1 minus 1, 0, 0 factorial 1. So now take lambda common, lambda common, what is left over? 1 plus lambda plus lambda square by 2 factorial plus so on infinity. We all know this formula, e power x formula e power x has expansion like this 1 plus x plus x squared by 2 factorial plus x cubed by 3 factorial plus so on infinite infinite series so this can be written e power x but here in the place of x you are having lambda so what you will get lambda e power minus lambda into e power lambda e power lambda minus lambda into e power lambda 1 so lambda here lambda minus lambda 0 e power 0 is 1 So this one we are calling it as expectation of x also. Mean means expectation of x. So mean of Poisson distribution is lambda. Next what we need to find? Variance. Variance of Poisson distribution. Variance we are going to calculate. 
variance of Poisson distribution. Variance formula. What is formula for variance? Expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square. Now we will calculate expectation of x square. First, expectation of x value we know mu. So first we are calculating variance of uh, Poisson distribution. We are going to calculate using that formula. So variance, uh, expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square, or it can be written like this also. Expectation of uh, r square minus expectation of r whole square in terms of r. So I am finding expectation of r square. Sigma r equal to 0 to infinity r square into p of r. What is uh, p of r? In Poisson distribution p of r e power minus lambda into lambda power r by r factorial. Take e power minus lambda like this. Sigma r equal to 0 to infinity r square into lambda power r by r factorial e power minus lambda into e power minus lambda constant. We don't have any r terms, that's why we return e power minus lambda like that. Now, write in the place of r 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. If you write 0, 0 into anything, 0. If you write 1, 1 square into lambda power 1 by 1 factorial. If you write in the place of R2, 2 square into lambda square by 2 factorial. If you write in the place of R3, 3 square into 3, 3 square into lambda power 3 by 3 factorial. If you write in the place of lambda 4, what you will get? If you write in the place of lambda 4, R4, R square into lambda power 4 by 4 factorial. Here R is 4, right? 4 square. Plus 1 infinity. Now, E power minus lambda into, in every term you are having lambda, take lambda common. Lambda, lambda, lambda. If you take lambda common, here you will have only 1. Here 2 square is 4. 2 square is 4, right? 2 factorial can be written as 2 factorial can be written as 2 into 1. Then what happens? 2 1s, 2 2 z. So in numerator you will have 2, 1 lambda common, 2 lambda by 1. 2 cancel. So coming to 3 square, 3 square is 9, 3 factorial again, 3 into 2 into 1. So 3 1 z, 3 3 z. The 2 into 1 can be written as 2 factorial. That means 3 lambda common lambda square you will have by 2 factorial. Plus 4 square can be written as 16. 4 factorial 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. 4 1 jar, 4 4 jar, 16. So in numerator what you are having? 4 lambda cube by 3 into 2 into 1 is 3 factorial. Like this you will have. So now what I am doing, here I am splitting this one, 1 as 0 plus 1, or 1 plus 0, okay. 1 plus 0, 2 I am taking as 1 plus 1, 3 I am taking as 1 plus 2, 4 I am taking as 1 plus 3. Are you getting what I am saying? I am writing these numbers like this, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 3, 1 plus 0. First separate that 1 terms, all 1 terms. So first one, first one, first numbers I am writing, one, here one into lambda, lambda, plus one into lambda square, lambda square by two factorial, one into lambda cube, lambda cube by three factorial, so on. So first two terms only separately we return. Next, coming to second terms, plus, second term here zero, no need to write. What is second term? 1. 1 into lambda. Lambda. What is second term here? 2. 2 into lambda square by 2 factorial. What is second term here? 3. 3 into lambda cube by 3 factorial. So on infinity. So we all know that lambda into e power minus lambda. This is e power x formula written here. 
1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial can be written as e power x. Like that, this one also can be written like this, e power lambda. 1 plus lambda plus lambda square by 2 factorial, lambda cube by 3 factorial can be written as e power lambda plus, you can take lambda common here. If you take lambda common, what happens? 1 plus 2 factorial can be written as 2 into 1, we know. 3 factorial can be written as 3 into 2 into 1. So 1, 3 get cancelled, 1, 2 get cancelled. Lambda common. If you take lambda common from lambda square, you will have lambda by 1. Again in lambda cube, you took 1 lambda common. So what you will have? Lambda square by 2 into 1, 2 factorial plus so on infinity. So what is left over term now? Lambda into e power minus lambda, e power lambda plus lambda into again, this one is e power lambda, e power lambda, the same formula. Now multiply with this, what you will get? Lambda into e power minus lambda into e power lambda 1 e power minus lambda into e power lambda. Why? Bases are equal if you add exponents. Lambda minus lambda 0, e power 0, 1. So, lambda plus lambda into lambda, lambda square. Again, e power minus lambda into e power lambda 1. These two products becomes 1. Here also, these two products becomes 1. So, what is left over term you are having here? Lambda plus lambda square. This is expectation of r square value. This is expectation of r square. But we need variance. Variance is equal to expectation of r square minus expectation of r whole square. Expectation of r square is lambda plus lambda square. Expectation of r value we know. Expectation of r is mean of Poisson distribution. Just now we calculated here lambda. So, write in the place of expectation of our lambda, what you will get? Lambda square. So, plus lambda square minus lambda square get cancelled. Variance is lambda. So, variance of Poisson distribution is lambda and mean of Poisson distribution is lambda. From this derivation, what we understood? Mean and Poisson of normal distribution are equal. Mean equal to Variance equal to lambda. This is an important derivation in Poisson distribution. Finding mean of Poisson distribution, variance of Poisson distribution, and showing that mean and variance are equal in Poisson. Are you clear? Any doubts you may ask anywhere.